Hi everyone, I'm Jordan Malt here with Venture RV. I'm going to show you some of the latest features on the all new 2018 Sport Trek. Uh, for all new for 2018, we've added the optional three quarter fiberglass uh, cap uh, with the integrated LED accent light that brings out some of the blue in the, uh, the graphics. Um, you also have a protective diamond plate to protect the front of the coach as you're going down the road from spitting up any debris. Um, you've also got, just for convenience, an LED lighted power tongue jack, okay, for added convenience. As I move around to the front of the coach, um, one of the features is an all new one key system, so you can unlock every single compartment door or exterior door with one key, no more messing around with the janitor's keychain. Um, we have an integrated Furion uh, solar panel system, okay, that comes standard prepped. Again, you have full size baggage doors on both sides with a magnetic clasp. Again, you don't have to have two hands for the, uh, the system. Um, as we go into the inside of the storage here, as you noticed, it has the motion sensor LED light on the inside. Uh, it's got the light switch for your LED system out here on your front cap that you can turn on and off as you want. Um, and an all new feature for 2018 is also the 12 volt disconnect. Okay, so if you are going to be storing it for any certain time, as opposed to making sure all the lights are shut off on the inside, you simply have to switch the 12 volt disconnect switch. Um, also on for 2018, um, we've added the friction hinge door, so you don't have to have the clasp anymore to keep it open or shut. Um, three step aluminum entry steps are all new for 2018, um, as well as LED lights below the steps, LED lights in your exterior speakers, and LED lights also below each one of your stab pads so you can see where you're putting down your stabilizer jacks. As we enter the 2018 Sport Trek, you're going to find an easy grab handle assist with an all new triple step aluminum step entryway with an LED light below, uh, an all new friction hinge door, no more clasp at the back to make sure it stays uh, open when you have it open, um, as well as a full length awning with a directional LED light that you can either shine inside if you're entertaining under the canopy or if you're playing some games maybe outside you can also direct the light outside. As we move around to the back of the coach uh, you've got a camp kitchen here with integrated um, cold and hot water system. Uh, you've got storage, you've got a two burner cooktop You've also got a 12 volt outlet here in case you want to have a TV or any electronics outside. Um, one other thing that I'll point out is you'll notice I'm standing under a full length awning that not only covers the entire camp kitchen area, but also the entry door that leads into the coach. Uh, as I move around to the back here, um, of course you have a fridge. Um, you have a bike rack back here that you can either use to store bikes and or any types of uh, luggage or coolers that you might be taking along uh, on the trip with you. Uh, back here, you're also going to find your standard black tank flush, um, of course, that you can empty out your, or spray out your black tank flush. Um, you've also got a collapsible ladder back here that's going to lead you to your accessible full walk-on roof. Um, and one other thing I'll point out back here as we're getting towards the end of the coach, but you've got a uh, fully enclosed and sealed underbelly with actual force duct heating into your, uh, your compartment base. As we move around to the off-door side of the coach, you're going to notice a either 30 or 50 amp detachable power cord. Okay, no more struggling with getting in the hole that it generally goes in. Um, a place for kids to stick their gum or critters to run into the coach. Um, you've also got your hot, cold outdoor shower as well on this side. Um, easy access to all of your, your tank valves. Okay, um, and additionally, you'll notice the drip rail above your slide-out as opposed to just being on the end of the coach.